<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, fish and fucking pheasants, why not? Let's go. We're up to the tombstone setup for beginners. You're also going to get some a few little hints and tricks here as well if you watch the full video. If not, then just fast forward to the bit at the end where you'll see me starting with these small cans and perks. I always start with the dog bone. Love dogs, they are absolute legends. So I've just put on these perks that I'm going to equip in the game. I'm going to be using these perks and then I'm going to collect some stuff, put them into my backpack and then I'm going to tombstone that backpack. Uh, again, it's just going to be a small backpack or a regular backpack. Uh, it depends on which one you find. So, you know, stick it on. Uh, you don't need to have anything on at all. Uh, so there's no recommendations for this. You can, you can go into the game with absolutely nothing and still do exactly what I'm doing now. So there's no trouble. You don't need to have anything. You don't need to have schematics or these crazy fucking diamond things or any mother bloody things like that. You know, we're good. So basically you'll come in and the first thing you want to do is look for an escort contract because that will give you a dog. So if you complete the escort contract to get three pieces of meat and then find a dog house around the map, that dog will save your bum hole. And I really do mean it will save your ass. So you'll see that I'm just popping all my cans on now just so I start with an empty bag. I always put the dog bone on. Making these videos is quite hard when you're doing it solo and you're trying to sort of look around the map, look for things and getting battered by zombies. At the same time, you'll see my dog come in clutch in about two or three minutes time uh, when it picks me up from doing the contracts. Again, so we're just going to be running the ACV contracts, uh, the escort contracts over and over. If you do it in different sections, you're more likely to get different rewards. Uh, I get the Shatterblast formula uh, straight away. I've already got the Shatterblast formula, but it is it's, it just repeats itself. It's all pure chance. You want to keep an eye out for these lockers. These lockers have got some serious stuff in as well. You, people will tell you the little things on the floor have, this has, this has. No, they, no, lockers do. I'm telling you now, lockers are the way forward. They've got large backpacks. They've got three plate vests in. They've got the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is the most overpowered gun in the game when it's pack-a-punched. Uh, and you have flopper so what you're going to be doing is just sitting there running these contracts backwards and forwards this is where you're going to be collecting the three bits of meat if to collect your dog so you'll see me shooting a few people at the front and then i remembered i needed to collect meat so then i uh, eventually let let the machine run them over for me to collect the meat i'll collect the three pieces of meat and then i'll be going to a dog house in a tier three zone but i won't be doing that as video because i'm just trying to make sure that it's i'm just giving you the insight of the little tricks and tips to do as you're going along you're probably sitting there thinking i already fucking know this gag why are you wasting my time well i've had i've been asked to do this video so i will always ask if someone asks me to do something i will try to oblige as much as i can here we go this is the bit where i go down so you'll see that the uh, everybody goes down i mean i play this game quite a lot uh, and you can tell that i still go down hence why i know the dog right so yeah, we'll finish this. There's my third and final bit of meat. So now I can go and get a dog after this contract if I was in a team and I was doing it fully. Um, I think I only played this game for about eight or nine minutes just to sort of uh, show people what's going on. So everything goes right here. I'll pick up the Shatter Blast formula in the uh, rift that will appear there in a second. Uh, and then I'll be moving on and carry on grinding backwards the escort contracts and also the cargo delivery contracts because they are the easiest ones to do. Cargo delivery is the easiest one to do if you're on your own. You know, there's there's no trouble there at all. You don't even need a dog bone. You could just go straight in and just start doing cargo delivery. Um, it will give you perks. It will give you equipment. You know, it's pretty good. So there's a shout out formula, three bits of meat. This will all change by the time I finish because I'm going to be picking up cans. I'll be doing a few missions back to back uh, just to pick up things as I go along. Uh, it's very important that you do the contracts because the contracts will give you a lot better loot than if you just run around like a headless chicken uh, trying to find loot. So now we're going to be going to do a cargo delivery and then I think after that we just keep running cargo deliveries because they're easy to get to because you automatically get a car at the end of it as long as you don't fucking destroy it um, you'll get the car and you could just roll out so yeah we'll be we'll be rolling this out you know it's very handy to know as well uh, what you will be doing is this is the tombstone video beginner setup so at some point you will need to find the tombstone machine and you will also need to get 2,000 pounds or 2,000 essence for that tombstone machine so I will be going to the tombstone machine which is lo normally located in the grey area or the level tier one zone of the map um, you know you will need that to do the tombstone uh, the problem is if you have got the schematics or you have got a shatter blast formula you need to extract with it to actually gain that uh, XP and that knowledge inside the game. So if you were to tombstone with it and then do the glitch, which will be linked in the description underneath, um, you will not receive that Shatter Blast formula. You will just stow it and it will be a, it's a waste. So what you really want to do is you want to get your friends to come in and give you a little helping hand. Uh, again, I'm going to show people how to do the money glitch. Probably that'll be tomorrow's video. Uh, I do need my boy White Tiger. 
uh, to come through. Big shout out there to the big man. Uh, he'll be coming through and showing us how we're going to be doing the money glitch tomorrow. Uh, duplication, it is a two-person thing. So anyway, we'll be getting some stuff here. You'll see now, it's, uh, you'll notice see that my backpack is slowly filling up with the things that I would like to stay and I'm going to duplicate. So these are all new tombstones. This is just completely new. I will go to get my tombstone in a bit, but you just ignore that. Okay, so here we go. Here's the tombstone. Always go underneath the tombstone as well because you get a cheeky little bonus. Little Brucey bonus, baby! So I'll be going back to the tombstone that uh, I originally set. Doesn't matter if you've got one already or it doesn't matter if you haven't got one. This does not matter. If you have not got one, ignore this bit. Just pretend this does not exist, okay? Because it does not matter uh, this, this part for what we're doing as a beginner. I just have to go to my tombstone because I've got 999,000 essence in it. So I... Um, I'm definitely not going to lose that. It, that took me a very long time to accumulate. So you'll, you'll see that as soon as I open my tombstone, I've got all my things in there. This will be eventually be your tombstone if you have to get all this. I'm just going to throw this stuff away, uh, just get rid of it. Uh, there's no need for it. I just want to stow the stuff that uh, originally I said I was going to stow, which I do. I do, I do change everything back uh, to the original sort of stows. Uh, we don't want to be having any... Uh, you know, miscommunications or confusion. So basically, you've got your tombstone now, you've set your tomb bag up, you've got everything that you need in it. So now you're going to down yourself and you're just going to roll out. Give up is fine, giving up, but you must wait this plea timer out. You must wait this timer out, okay? That is very, very important. If you leave this timer, you will lose your tombstone and you would have just wasted all of your time. So if it's not in your backpack, it's not going to be stowed. That's the best way. You'll notice here that I'll come back in. I will lose everything, so when you come back into the game, the first thing you'd really want to do is maybe one or two missions. Uh, get a bit of money, then go back to your tombstone, or go to your tombstone if you've got money in it. If you've got a little bit of money from the last game, go back to your tombstone. Go and collect that money and go and get yourself a large backpack, go and get yourself a, a three-plate vest um, and many other things. You'll notice there's my tombstone in the middle of the road where I left it. Um, I always give away money as well because, like I say, I fully, fully stacked. So there's my tombstone there, straight to the quadruple nines all the nines baby so what we're going to do here is we're just going to basically just stow it all and then make our way over to the portal drop your money for the people if you can if it's going to stress you out and you might go down don't bother doing it it's just a little thing that's nice to do so basically what we're going to do now is the link in the description will be there for the copy of this bit of the glitch uh, you won't be able to see it i'm just going to flip straight back and go back into my character because my screen doesn't record because i only use a playstation 5 i don't have any kind of technology or any kind of information where i use um you know pcs or any, anything like that it's all just the playstation share factory so big shout to the share factory uh for letting us do all of this stuff again you know you go straight into the anomaly and like i say the link will be down in the description of how to do this part because this is the bit that you will need to watch from the handheld camera as uh, PlayStation doesn't allow you to record things when you close application. So I did the glitch, um, and you'll see that there I've got the three cans the, and the, uh, the ether tool. You'll notice that I also did bring the Shadow Blast formula out just to prove that when you do bring it out, it just stows. So it doesn't do anything else. You can't use it, you can't equip it, you can't put it onto your um, schematics and then craft it. You must exfil with that. Uh, the good news is that will be in your backpack. So uh, what you can do is you can fill your backpack up with these things like your recipes and formulas, put them all together and then just leave the game uh, with, with it all together if that's how you want to do it. But again, this is how you do the tombstone glitch. Uh, I hope this has been a help. Again, smash that like, smash that subscribe. You know, I am new to YouTube, so I appreciate everyone coming to watch. I hope this has helped. Thank you very much. Peace!